Good evening and happy Thanksgiving and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've been able to share my own experiences with the world on what it's like to live with an autism spectrum disorder or Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I do is uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third thing that I do is uh, give tips and advice to individuals inside the autism community, whether they are on the spectrum or not, or whether they are a special education teacher. And I also like to educate those who are outside the autism community. And a fourth thing that I do is cover topics that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into today's topic, I am going to mention that this vlog is a um, response to another video that I'm recommending. And it's called uh, Ask an Autistic by Amethyst Shaber. And the name of her series is called uh, Living Atypically. And the name of the episode is referred to as Coming Out. Now, when you guys think of coming out, do you think of uh, being gay or straight or, or lesbian or bisexual or uh, transgender? Well, in this case, when she talks about coming out, Amethyst prefers to coming out as autistic. And she had some really, really great points on uh, not everybody in our family is going to be willing to believe that we're autistic just because we're high functioning. And she's also talking about how, when, and where is the best place to do that. So Amethyst, I wanted to respond to this video of yours because uh, being on the spectrum myself, I know what a struggle it is to try to come out or raise autism awareness with people. And it is amazing how many people uh, give me um, annoying, intrusive responses. So as soon as I tell them I'm autistic, no matter how high functioning I happen to look, they seem to get this idea that I'm some broken toy. And rather than look at me as a person, they often make comments like, oh, do you have a social worker? Where are your parents? Do you live with them? Uh, are you sure you don't get any special services? Are you on social security? I mean, none of them ever really look at me as a person, and it's just really nerve-wracking. So I also wanted to tell you uh, guys a little story. Uh, back when I was in my early 20s, I was 20 and 21, I ended up moving in with two roommates that were neurotypicals that were six and eight years older than I was at the time. And before that, I had fought and fought and fought. I did not want to live in the group home situation. I did not want special help from a social worker and someone sticking their nose in their business and making all kinds of silly assumptions about me. I did not want to be on social security. I wanted an everyday average normal life because uh, I was mildly autistic. But little did I know before I moved out that I would have all kinds of issues. So when I was living with these two roommates, I never once came out and told them that I was autistic. One, I was afraid of one of my roommates because she had a really, really explosive temper and a extremely low tolerance to things that I did. And she was just extremely picky for, over silly things. And two, I just wasn't really ready to live on my own, and so uh, they quickly grew very frustrated with me. But I absolutely refused to tell uh, either one of them that I had uh, high-functioning autism because I was fed up with hearing another uh, round of questions or hearing the lecture about, oh, you're a vulnerable adult, or the fact that my roommates uh, would call uh, social services on me or they would go and uh, contact a group home that they knew about and that they were going to throw me in there. And so, again, I know exactly what it's like to try to come out with people and I'm learning not to talk about it as much. I'm letting people get to know me first as a person. And that's because I want them to see how extraordinary I am. I don't want them to be asking all of these ridiculous questions about uh, who's helping me with my laundry or who's helping me with my housekeeping or who's paying the bills for me. And it's just, you get the idea. So for those of you that are new here, I would like to... Uh, 
suggest that you subscribe to my channel. I have lots of great videos, and I nearly have 200 of them that I have been doing for the last two years. And not, not all 200 videos at once, but I have 200 video blogs right here on my YouTube channel. And a second thing that I would recommend is I would love to hear from you. So what it is, what's it like for you who live on the autism spectrum to struggle with trying to educate people and trying to come out as autistic? Uh, I would love to hear what you have to say. And do not forget to share my videos on Twitter and YouTube and on Facebook and any forms of social media. And also, do not forget to share these with your autism community and your autism support groups. Until next time, I'm Maya.